Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 965, where we have 30 moves to clear out 33 jelly. The jelly is trapped under this five layer thick frosting and under these licorice locks, but so are fish. Now normally my strategy for fish is to hold off and use them at the very end when they can play cleanup on the things I haven't been able to reach, but that is not what I'm going to do this time around. What I'm going to do this time is use them as quickly as is wise. I don't want to go ahead and set them off right now if I've got a better move, and I do. So I'm going to do this because I get this nice cascade and it takes off layers and it makes a special. But I'm not going to hold on to them either. Uh, I'm not going to wait until the very end. I'm going to use them because what will happen is they will clear things out, and when they clear things out, then I've got more space to make more specials. Now you might wonder why I'm not taking this. Uh, this can be a pretty good matchup, but not always. If it lands on a jelly, it's going to turn into a stripe. So if I had the three fish that go out, the three striped fish come back, land here, here, and here, that's pretty good. I would have three stripes. But if they land on um, a barrier like a frosting, then they're just going to turn into fish. And so if they land here, here, and here, they're just fish, and I lose the momentum of this stripe. So I don't want that to happen, and because it's much more likely, odds-wise, that they would land on frosting than on a jelly, I don't want to make that move. I'd rather send the fish off individually, get the three fish, and then send this stripe individually as well. Uh, I'm making moves low to the ground to encourage cascading. Cascading means better opportunity to clear more things out. So here now I'm going to use the stripe individually and it had a bigger impact than if I likely a bigger impact than if I'd used it with the fish. Okay, so I want to take out frosting. I don't want to hold off. So now that had frosting, it's, it's now clear, so it's more space to make more matches and specials. These are the moves I need to be making. Alright, I'm going to make moves low to the ground to encourage cascades. Well, that was not much of a cascade, but the more I clear out, the more that'll happen, the more cascading will occur. There we go, we got that stripe gone. And now this is the critical point, the midpoint, where I have to look at all of my opportunities and decide what the best move is. I could possibly make a color bomb with the purple, but I don't have a way to enact that. So instead I'm going to use the purple to make a cascade and open things up. But I'm going to evaluate again what's the next best move. I could do this purple and that would take out a jelly and, a, you know, a layer of jelly and a layer of frosting. But I'm not interested in taking out the jelly. I'm just interested at this point in time at taking out the barriers, the frosting. I figure the jelly will be removed in the backswing as I'm taking out all of this frosting. I need to clear things out over here. Sometimes the way I do that is by making moves over here, but I don't see anything over here that's valuable. Um, another way to do this is to concentrate the colors down. You see how I've got this side of the board almost looks like it's on fire. I have very little green over here, uh, so if I could take out the green that would help. Um, and I have very little blue. So now that I did that, look what happened. The orange uh, and red turned into color bombs. You see how I said it looked like it was on fire over here? I looked at the concentration of those colors and I was able to create specials based on taking away the things that weren't going to help. All right, speaking of taking away things that aren't going to help, let's do this. Let's remove all I'm going to take out all blue from the board, concentrating the colors down, and hoping to match this up then with another special. Uh, I was thinking about trying to get a color bomb here too, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Clear space out. More space means more opportunities for more matches and specials. Okay, so there's my more match and more special, right? Now I already took out the orange recently, so there's not a whole lot of orange on the board. But look what just happened here. 
Let's take out all red from the board, concentrating those colors down. Now that I took out some colors, there is more orange, and there are two orange along here. I'm hoping that they'll have a good effect this way. There we go. Okay, well, down to the wire, but that's how I beat this level. Not by holding on to the fish to play cleanup, but by using the fish in the beginning and other things that I have at my disposal to make space so I can make specials, and then concentrating on how to get those specials and use them the most effectively. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. This actually took me seven tries because in the beginning I was hooked on trying to hold off on using those fish until I just realized that strategy didn't work and I had to develop a new strategy. As always, thanks so much for watching.